Okay, here's a little video. A CNC table build. Uh, got a good start on it's day two. It's four by four. I got it upside down right here. We put leveled it out. Started welding everything together, cutting everything. These are adjustable legs for underneath of it when I flip it over. I'm sure it's gonna be needed. But uh, she'll be a sturdy one. That's for sure. It's a four by ten. I buy most of my metal in four by ten. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'll be able to lay it on there without having to hang it over. Uh, I'm waiting on some metal. I did not get enough. I forgot to order one. I still got another leg here. These are some of my uh, cross members. I got two sets of them like you see on the end down there. One in there and one down uh, on the end. Uh, one of them's gonna be uh, like six inches lower than the top of the table for my water pan to set on. And uh, I got a weld them in there yet. And then the bottom braces. I got three by threes here going across uh, until I'll set on. Um, so far, so good. Here's some of these nice uh, linear rails I got. These things are huge. I'm really gonna like these. These are also adjustable. There's three little wheels in here. The type that they are. Ride smooth. They ride on the hardened rod there. They're aluminum. And uh, they got a tool you stick in here and turn it. It moves one of them wheels to where you get the, the play out of it. So if you got one that's a little loose, you can just stick a tool in here and it pushes one of them wheels one way or it's got a little cam like it offset. Uh, it's going to be pretty nice. That's my uh, aluminum gantry extruder or whatever you call them. A 72 inch piece there that I'm going to put on it. But she's taking shape. My other table in here is a GoFab piece of crap. I uh, got this table. Started using it a year ago, uh, December uh, 2019. People said they'd be there for me. That was a lie. It worked really, really good the first year, or the first month, December, and in January, it worked really good. I was actually putting videos on YouTube here, bragging on it, and uh, they changed the software, and everybody had problems, most everybody. I'm gonna say 75%. We got little groups here that helps each other out because they failed to communicate with us after a while. They did make a trip up here once to put new pieces on here they forgot to put in the factory bearings and things. I had broken wires, uh, torches, they were junk. They kept going down hitting the metal. All that stuff just laying underneath the bench there. The cutter's still there too, it's an 80 amp cutter. Uh, I put these rollers on here. I rewired everything. I put this new uh, anti-collision head on here, it works sweet. And the new uh, aluminum uh, z-axis it's really smooth i like it a lot every cord cable on here has been replaced i bought a new hypertherm 45 xp it's really nice also didn't have much complaints on the other but i'm going to sell it with the gold fab because it's got gold fab on it it's hard looking at it um, i built my own controls new control box this is everything on this one this is uh, my plasma CNC controller it's sweet these are the one of the best ones out there you can stop on a file anywhere you want to come back next day turn it back on and take off wherever you want to on the file but uh, got three power supplies two of them there's a uh, 48 volt Put together 
and uh, turned down the 24 votes. So it produces uh, 48 votes between the both of them, but half power, so it ain't hard on them. And I got a 12 volt one there just for the little fan. They're really, really nice drivers and stuff. Um, put in it and stuff. It's a totally, totally different table. So this was kind of a project. I decided I went this far. I just as well as to finish it up by building a table. And uh, the table's built pretty decent in GoFab, but it's, it's got sawtooth. And I think I'm getting a sawtooth either because these bearings right on a piece of eighth inch steel or it's the gears. I put new motors on this one, bigger motors. Uh, ain't nothing original except for that little motor right there that I can think of. The rest of it's everything's been changed on it. And I got it cut and it cuts really good with that new controller. But like I said, I'm just trying to get rid of this name right there. It's been a headache for lots of us. We, like I said, we got our own groups to help each other. But back to the table. This is going to be a good table. I can't wait to get it finished. Like I said, uh, I'll get my other metal in. It's going to be a week. I messed up and didn't get one piece ordered to finish it. Uh, another day, we'll have this thing flopped over and be thinking about putting some rails on, I think. Uh, but just wanted to show everybody what can be done. Just got to have a square. We've got more times from wearing out tape measures to keeping everything measured right and square than anything else when you build a table. Like I said, it's upside down here now. But I cut little end caps and stuff and put on my four inch pipes just to look better. I haven't got that one put on yet on that three inch. I'll try to do more videos as we go and see what happens, but it's going to be pretty nice. All right, see you.